This is how you convert flat images into rotating 3D animation in Premiere Pro. To start, I have one background clip and two textures of the Earth and Moon. By the way, you can download all project-related assets from the video description. Stay tuned for the password, which will pop up halfway through the video. Let's begin by importing the background clip and earth texture onto the timeline. Extend the duration of the earth texture layer to match background clip's duration. Once you've the image selected, scale it up as necessary. Use the ellipse tool to create a circle, holding down the shift key to keep it perfectly round. Position the circle so there's extra space above and below it. Then, select your earth texture layer, head to the effects panel, and search for the track matte key effect. Double click to add it to your earth texture layer. In the effect controls panel, set the matte option to video 3, assuming your shape layer is on track 3. Next, add the offset effect, followed by the spherize and lighting effects from the effects panel. To clean up this mesh, move the track matte key effect to the bottom of the effect stack. For 3D rotation, Create keyframes by clicking the stopwatch icon next to shift center 2. Move the playhead a few seconds forward and increase the X and Y values of the offset. Then, go back to the starting keyframe and decrease the offset values. Adjust the spherize radius to form a 3D sphere. Modify the lighting effects by raising the light and setting light 1 intensity to 50. In order to add depth, set the bump layer to video 2 and for extra enhancement enable the white is high option and tweak the bump height to tone down the effect apply the lumetri color effect to fine tune the exposure contrast and white and black levels next create a free bezier mask to add a shadow on the right side increasing the mask feather for a softer edge you might want to reduce the spotlight intensity for a more subtle effect now, import the moon texture and repeat the process to create a 3D rotating moon. Nest the circle and moon texture layers, naming the new layer moon, and the effect controls panel. Change its position to the top left corner. Set position keyframes and move them to the bottom right corner after a few seconds. Notice, password is, flick V2. Finally, nest both the moon and earth layers to add a zoom out effect. Set keyframes for scale and position, move a few seconds ahead, and adjust the values. Ensure the final keyframe is at the beginning by rearranging them. Use ease in for the final keyframes, and ease out for the starting ones to create a smooth transition. And this is what you'll end up with.